Everyone just starting their warm-ups here. Some of these people just doing some bar mobility. Yeah. Some of the athletes a little bit heavier. Interesting yeah. you see there's a, a one kilo plate on the inside of her 20s. She had that in the training hall uh, a couple of days ago also. So presumably a, a psychological trick to some degree to I mean there's no there's no advantage to doing so. You'd imagine that there has to be some psychological yeah. reason for wanting to put the, the small green one yeah. uh, on the inside there. A little you know, trick of the mind. We don't talk a lot about the superstitions around uh, yeah. different you know, different routines in weightlifting, but yeah, anyone who's watched a competition sees the way people approach the bar, the different mm -hmm. ticks and quirks people have, uh, you would quickly learn that there's a lot of little mind games or mm -hmm rehearsals people go through in order to make the lifting work for them did you ever or any of the uh sort of international lifters that you trained alongside have any interesting superstitions certain pair of socks that they might wear certain sort of final pre-competition meal or anything you know i can't i can't think off the top of my head anything like that no uh you know the the cultural one of stepping over the bar was a big yeah, one yeah you know that we know that but uh yeah, nothing in particular. Touching the bar with the foot, I know for some people, is yeah. a good one. They just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Sign of disrespect. And, of course, uh, recently it became against the rules in weightlifting. Yeah. Previously, we were allowed to do that. You can't anymore. Yeah, I know showing the bottom of your feet is considered an insult in some places. Yeah, maybe that's it, yeah. Yeah. So there we have Palinsu. Uh, looked like she was just on the barbell there, the Turkish athlete. Best snatch is 77 kilos, so she'll be one of the... Actually, she's probably middle of the pack, realistically. She's middle of the pack. We have a few athletes going over 80, I'm sure. Julia Imperio and Hela Lomachinska from Ukraine might do it. Uh, Alisi uh, Dugu from Turkey might also. Mihaela, of course, will. And uh, Monica Singeri also. In fact, we might be... Uh, person we've not really given enough credit is the other Romanian lifter, Monica. I'm just looking at her lifts now. 86, 103 are her bests. That, you know, when yeah, put together, that puts her at number two behind her teammate. Yeah, she's right there as well. This could be a very close uh, battle here. Yeah, a yeah. three-way battle here for the first spot. I imagine... Team Italy will be in the crowd. In fact, I can, I can see Team Ireland just on the other side. I wonder if just to islands to the right and above, there's a big mass of dark blue, which I think might be the Italian tracksuits. Difficult to tell. There is a lot of Team Italy here. Yeah, they've really expanded to be a very large, very competitive team over the last, you know, six, eight years. It's been impressive to watch. Yeah, I can't see another team anywhere else, so I sort of wonder if that that has to be them. Yeah, team Italy has certainly risen to sort of an increased level of fame or at least intrigue from weightlifting fans over the last couple of years since they're Athletes have done better and better. Oh, Max, interesting. We should mention this. This is the... I think I've only ever seen one woman come out of the Georgian weightlifting team. And and she was an 87 last year, uh, Hotford. Yeah. Hotford, Lost yeah. to um, the now world champion, Solfred Coanda, of course. Uh, but now, Mariam Maseradze, 18 years old. I wonder if there's a, a youth team that's that's going to start coming through into the senior level perhaps or yeah. maybe she just happens to be the only you know the only lifter there I don't know but good to see yeah potentially uh, that could be interesting if Georgia fields a, a larger women's team yeah very exciting so there's An uh, Angelina Lomachinska warming up for Possibly a squat jerk. Yeah. It's pretty classic of the Ukrainian women to be squat jerking. Monica Sengeri there. Bang on 49 kilos in body weight. And 
So, as we mentioned, it might be that she's the one that ends up getting a medal that we weren't really thinking of. 86 kilos, uh, her best snatch, 103 in the clean and jerk. So the senior world records, also worth mentioning. I don't think we're going to get particularly close to them today, but you never know. Uh, 96 in the snatch, that's by China's Hu Jihui. The clean and jerk by uh, Mirabai Chanu, of course, from India. And then uh, 213 in the total, Hu Jihui. But it's going to be the opening attempt for the Georgian Mariam now at 70 kilos. Very nice snatch. Pretty typical of the Georgians, yep. isn't it, these days to move so well. Yeah, real technician there. That was very nice. Yeah, this is her first senior competition, which I suppose is good reason as to why we, we haven't seen her before. She's a two-time youth European athlete and a one-time youth junior athlete. Uh, sorry, junior European athlete. Um, she has took the silver medal, actually, at the European Junior Champs last year. She snatched 70 there. She's just opened with that now. Okay, so Aluia is going to come out now. Last time we saw Olivia was at the World Championships. Just a few months ago, she snatched 72 there. a bit rushed. Looks like she had that, but uh, almost crashed on her a tiny bit and bounced out. She's shaking her hand there. She knows she can do it easily. Maybe she'll bump up here. So something that I wasn't aware of, Max, was that the, just looking through some of these records, the junior European records are all held by uh, Mihaela Kambe, she did those at the World Championships, that 90 kilo snatch and the 104 clean and jerk, uh, all records. She did that in her final final opportunity to do so before yeah. the uh, the year started where she turned 21. There's Harry Leach, Irish head coach. An athlete who's you know somewhat missing from this lineup, I'm sure some of you might be asking is, where is Nina Sturck? She competed at 49 at the World Championships. She competed at 49 at the Olympic Games. Where is she? Well, she's actually a 59 now. She's moved all over the place. She was a 55 at the last European Champs, down to 49 for the World Champs, back up to 59 now. We've seen her in the training room, and uh, she's also looking very strong. Definitely going to be a runner for the gold medal there. But yeah, the winner of last year's Europeans was Julia, and that was with a 79-kilo snatch and a 92-kilo clean and jerk. Uh, she did jump to over 100 kilos to go for a personal best, but she wasn't able to make it. But... That 171 total, I don't think will even come close to getting a, a bronze medal at this Europeans. No, especially this being an Olympic class. A lot more competition here, so yeah. it's going to trickle in. So Olivia Zazga is going to take this two-minute clock. She'll come back out to reattempt that 70 kilos. In fact, she's coming out now. I'm not quite sure what happened on that opening attempt, but it wasn't quite what she'd hoped for. Way, yeah. way better. Yeah, she's got a lot of speed, a lot of power on that lift. Yeah, very good timing. Everything yeah. was just solid there. That yeah, first great one probably, height. probably just a lapse of concentration, yeah. maybe. Yeah, let's see this now. Yeah, so much height on the bar. Uh, no doubt she can go up a little bit in that third attempt and successfully make it. Okay, opening attempt now from the Serbian athlete, Radmila Zagorak. I don't think they have a big team here. Uh, I think I saw them in the training hall the other day. So 
Three kilo personal best if she makes it. It's a pretty heavy opener. Yeah. Although in training she said she made 75. That's a bit forward. Yeah, yeah huge disparity really between a competition and training lift. Seven kilo difference. Yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit odd to see uh, an opener that looked that tough. She really left that bar forward, didn't quite have the turnover. Mm -hmm. She had mentioned that she's had an injury on her left shoulder, and um, I don't know. I don't know if either of the shoulders looked a little bit more in, in trouble than the other, but could well have been that. Definitely had a few more misses here than the 45A session. Already just a couple people only making two lifts so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told us that her uh, competition, sorry, training for this uh, competition has been extremely exhausting. Um, but she's excited for this one just to kind of show off what she's able to do. So hopefully she can come back and start making some lifts. 75 was the best snatch she made in the training up until this competition. 96 in the clean and jerk. And of course, she said that she's focusing predominantly on uh, on her technique. And she does look strong enough for that, but as you mentioned, Max, it's a bit of a technical error. Second attempt now for Zagorak from Serbia. Had two missed lifts, two made lifts so far. Better attempt, better but attempt. still the same uh, issue there. She's getting the bar to swing forward a little bit on her. She's rushing that explosion just a little bit, and everything stays forward because of it. She really sits there and waits, doesn't she? She she, yeah. I mean, I, she doesn't let the clock run down because she, I mean, she had, I think, 26 seconds left on the clock, but she's there, motionless, getting her mind dry for a long time. So not the most successful start to this women's 49 kilo session, unfortunately. I wonder if she's going to bump up to buy herself a little bit of time. We have a couple of athletes with 72 kilos written in. Tam Nguyen and then also uh, Maria Jimenez from Spain have 72. Yep, she's done that. She's bumped up. That's going to give her a little bit of mm -hmm. extra rest now. I think Nguyen's going up, though. We see Harry Leach, the Irish coach there. Yep. Making a change on the cards, and we see Jimenez walking out here. Yeah, it looks like she's going to come out for this one instead. This actually equals her international best of 72 kilos. And something to note, too, because this is an Olympic class, we're basically looking at people really trying to fight for that top eight finish. They want a spot at the Olympics. They're going to have to be high in these rankings. Oh, very strong pull. Yeah. Almost overdid it there, but she saved it. Yeah, very strong looking athlete. Huge pull and part of a, uh, a pretty big team here, actually, for Spain. It's great bar path. Like you said, though, you could see, you know, when she caught that, she almost overpulled it a little bit. She's so strong. Okay, Zagorak, I think, is going to come back out now because there's nobody else to take a lift. So she missed her first two attempts at 71 kilos. We had one athlete bomb out in the women's 45s. Hopefully, we won't see that happen again now. If she can just hold her positions during the pull there, she should be fine to make this. The bar's got plenty of height. Moves under well. It's just a little forward. Ah. 
Unfortunately not. Yeah. Bar was going forward. She jumped forward with it. Sort of slingshotted her under, through and under the bar. So I think this is going to be the opener for Nguyen here. Yeah. Looks like she'd made a few changes. In the back. Okay, out she comes. Very strong legs. I saw her power clean and jerk. I want to say it was 95 kilos. Certainly 90 kilos. Might have been 95 kilos in the training hall uh, on our first day here. That was on Thursday. That was two days ago. Then she went on to hit some squats at around 120 kilos. That was the last sort of heavy weight that she's had on her. Two days later, she's opening up with 73 kilos. This is going to equal her best snatch from Worlds. Very strong. Yeah, that's a great way to open yeah. up. That did not look hard. No. That, you know, technically that was very sound. Yeah. The speed of the whole thing, there was very little wobbling. I mean, that, that is such a good opening attempt. Yeah, very, very good. So she... At one point, it was a 48. That was back in 2015. She's competed internationally now for you know eight years. She then moved up to the 53s, uh, and then back down to the 49s. And she's only gotten better. I mean, back in 2015, she was snatching 57. Then as a 53, she made 66, and she's up at 73 plus now. Yeah, that's a lot of improvement. Second attempt for Mariam. Three kilo jump. A beautiful yeah, lift. That's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what we expect from the Georgians, just technical yeah. technical lifting, really sharp. Every position looks perfect. They're concise. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, when you, you see a lifter and they do something and it just reminds you of another athlete that you've seen. Yeah. And e even though, you know, the overhead position with the shoulders is totally different, I think it's uh, either Shota Mishvalidze or Goga Chikidze from Georgia. Just very similar the way they pull under. I sort of felt like, yeah. you know, you can really tell sometimes when an athlete comes from the same training system as another. Okay, Olivia now. Third attempt. She missed 70 on her opener, made it on a second. This will be a kilo personal best if she's able to make it. Oh, wow. Yeah. She got under that really well. That was a great snatch. Yeah, she's fast. Yeah, yeah, very, very solid. And pretty long limbs. Yeah. You know, which helps in the pull, but she gets she gets pretty deep under that. Yeah, you can see here great speed under. She did hop forward a tiny bit, but beautiful bottom I position. I think they sped that up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that it almost looked like yeah. it. Taking a page out of the uh, weightlifting house right, Instagram. Right, yeah, apparently so. Okay, here we have uh, Gimenez coming out. 74 kilos, second attempt. Two kilos up on that opener. And a uh, two kilo personal best for her if she makes it. She's very strong in that opening attempt. She almost, as you mentioned, Max over pulled it. You know, she had so much power at the top of the extension. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very strong pull. 
solid. She did land a little bit on the toes, hop back, but that's a great lift still. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tam looks like she'll be out. No, she'll, she'll bump up. That's just the automatic increase. So we do have a three athletes of 75 written in, so I wonder if one of them is going to now come out, or are we going to see that a few of these athletes, Dugu and uh, Helinsu, end up bumping up? Yeah, we're about a little over halfway through these lifts. Yeah. So we're going to start seeing in that high 70s range, probably the cutoff, and we'll start seeing in the 80s snatch. That's where we're going to really start to flesh out who's going to be on the podium. It's got a pretty big session, yeah. 11 athletes here. Huh? Four lifters with 80 or more as openers. Yeah, and that last snatch of 74 actually equaled the winning snatch from the B session from Hernandez. She made 74. She also clean and jerk the winning lift from that category at 92. I imagine there'll be a few athletes who potentially don't meet that standard in this A session. Prince Bayev now from Turkey will open things up. 75 kilos. Very good bottom position. A little bit slower pull, but kind of typical of the Turkish lifters we've seen, even her teammates from before, the uh, pronounced leap forward yeah, yeah. Uh, from Baktu in the mm -hmm. 45s. Yeah, very nice lift. Second attempt now for Ireland. There's uh, no one kilo plate on the inside now. 75 kilos here. This is a pretty conservative two kilo jump considering how strong her opening attempt looked. Yep, very good. Yeah, she sweeps that bar in a lot off the floor, doesn't it? Comes way back in towards her. She gets quite a l quite a way over the bar when she's at yep. yeah, sort of just by the knee. Very much. She gets the shoulders back, gets the knees back forward under the bar. And she's so strong with the legs. She just has a lot of power to finish up. Yeah, yeah. beautiful lift. And her best snatch internationally is only 73 kilos. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Uh, she's just got a new record. Okay. Yeah, that's quite good. Second of the two Turkish lifters now, Dugu Alici, 76 kilos. There are quite a few national battles in the 49 kilo category around the world within Pan America, Europe, and uh, Asia. Very comfortable opener. Yeah, yeah very solid. Yeah, very nice. I'd really like to see a replay of that as she just made contact. It almost looked almost looked as though she potentially slowed down a little bit at the contact point. Like it got a little bit sticky right at the hip and then yeah. she just this all this power suddenly appeared. Almost a hitch. Yeah. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> so four mm. athletes still to open. Lomachinska, Imperio, uh, Sangari, and Kambe. Final attempt now. She's taking another three kilo jump. The opener was very solid. Second attempt, again, it was a great lift, but it didn't look like there was a whole lot left in the tank. 
So this will be pretty massive for her. Be a four kilo best if she makes it. Just a little bit too heavy. A little too heavy, but it, you know she walks away with 73, which is a personal best in this 49 kilo category. She did make 73 yeah. previously as a 55 a couple of years ago, but um, yeah, I'm sure she'll be a little bit disappointed to not have made that. Here's Jimenez, 76. Yep, she's been making two kilo jumps. First one was a little bit behind, over pulled. Second one, she jumped back a tiny bit. Mm. A little bit more weight, though. Let's see if she can put this one perfectly in the middle. Just a touch forward. Yeah, you had to say it, didn't I, you? Yeah, I realized this. I did. We, yeah. we have a thing here at the commentary table where we we have learned that we have so much sway over the universe <laughs> we can't say anything about a lift as it is about to happen <laughs> I'm so, so aware of myself every time I'm about to say something just before a lift and I remind myself just to keep quiet until afterwards because invariably whatever I say the exact opposite will happen well they say with great power comes great responsibility yeah, Sebastian yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I seem to have somehow ended up in a position where <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> okay, 77 kilos will now be loaded. We're having a few backroom changes. We can see the Turkish coach there making a switch for Alici. I think we may actually see Nguyen come out here for the 77. Yeah, Alici's another two kilo jump. Yeah, Alici's probably going to bump. And there, once again, Max, we can talk about the fact that they have a sofa for the athletes to sit in rather than chairs which may look great right now where it's yeah. not very <laughs> packed but believe me during the 45s there was a point where we had a couple of athletes perched on the arms and there were five or so athletes squeezed onto that sofa waiting to come out so it might look good but it, it doesn't really work out as the uh, the best option. Yeah I think we're all kind of waiting to see uh, if Alasha and Lalian can both share that. Yeah later. I mean it, it, I think it's dangerous for the athletes even <laughs> and it gets too competitive to, to put two, two angry lifters on a sofa like that. Okay, here she comes, 77 kilos. Another two kilo jump from that second attempt. Yeah, she's made two very strong attempts already. Has to be four kilos over her best. Huge improvement since the World Championships. I mean, even in the cleaner jack, she's much stronger than she was just four months ago. Oh, a lot of power. Yeah, plenty she, of she strength. Pulled that high enough, it was strong. She just looped it too much. She knows it. You know, she looks frustrated with that, but she is going to walk away with a personal best there. That's 75 that she made in the second attempt. See how fired up she was for that lift. Okay, so second attempt now for Palintsu Bayev from Turkey. She made 75 on her opener. Seventy-seven is her previous best. She points to her elbows just to let the judges know that she's not got the best lockout. So this will be a personal best if she makes it. Wow, huge overextension there, but she got under the bar. And again, we see that kind of signature jump forward yeah. that we see from the Turkish lifters yep. almost across the board. Yeah, we have a couple of uh, Turkish athletes coming up in the men's 73s, Yusuf Genç and uh, 
Uh, Mohamed Ozbek, both of them jump forward a touch as well. Uh, did Tanis Aguirre used to jump forward in the snatch? Yeah. 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 The old 77. Wow, what a what a bottom position yeah, as well. I mean, just perfect. And not a bad lockout. Uh, we saw this at the World Championships. Athletes pointed to their elbows, almost yeah. like they're trying to get away in case they do press out. <laughs> <laughs> that looked totally fine to a me. A bit of insurance, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have some dispute here. I think this is the wrong lifter coming yeah, out. Yeah, Lomachinska should be out next with 79. It's the first attempt, whereas... Dugu will be taking 79 as a second. Yeah, here she comes. So one of four athletes yet to open. So yeah. incredibly fast. Very strong, yeah. really snappy. What a great opener and a little cheer from the crowd as the Ukrainian walked out onto the platform then again after that successful lift. A large team for Ukraine has come out, well on the women's side, I'm not, not particularly sure what their men's team is looking like. We'll see, of course, one of the best snatches in, in weightlifting, Irina Decker, competing in the women's 81s later in the week. Yep. Her teammate, who took the silver at Worlds, whose name I'm uh, losing right now, isn't coming to this competition. She pulled out last minute, but we will see Irina Decker amongst several other great Ukrainian athletes this week. Okay, Dugu's coming out now. Second attempt, 79. Four kilos under her best. Five ki four kilos, yeah. Beautiful snatch. Such a wide grip. I don't know how yeah. she can hold it overhead. It's incredibly difficult when you're out that wide. And yeah. again, there's that little almost pause right at the hip. Yeah, that super wide grip is, you know, it's it's got a, a trade-off for the advantage you get. That yeah. bar is in a different position. It's better position. But then overhead, your margin for error is reduced so much. So much. Uh, she's great though. She really put that in a fantastic spot. There was a, basically no issue yeah. uh, with stability. You know, it's the Armenians normally who are known for those much wider, uh, yeah. wider grips. And there's Julian Perio's coach putting in a change. She's got a bump up from 80 kilos, presumably to 81. Yeah, we could see some some big attempts from her here, going yeah. over 80 on her Very opener. Very heavy opener for her. If she yeah. Well, it will be, yeah. Wow, we've got a bunch of, of jockeying around here. Yep. I think we're even going to see. We haven't seen either of the Romanians out yet either. Let's see if Bayev comes out for 80. Back and forth. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, third attempt now. Max, you mentioned that little hop forward on her. Other attempts, I'm sure she'll do that again now. Those sort of errors only seem to get exacerbated as the weight goes up rather than reduced. Yeah. Asking for quiet here. Points to the elbows. <laughs> 80 kilos on the bar. Really went for it there, just did yep. not have the height, I yeah. don't think. Yeah, a lot of bravery to throw yourself under that. That bar was moving forward. And you should just see how deep she goes, her hips almost touching the, the platform. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the jump forward there. Yeah, that horizontal movement of the bar is just going to make everything a lot less efficient. So any power you have gets eaten up, you know, essentially moving that bar forward, moving your body forward under the bar as well. Yeah. It's so critical to be technically perfect because you can maximize your strength if you're efficient. 
So, Julia's put in 82 for her opener. Monica, 84, and Mihaela Kambe, 85. But before we get to them, I think we're going to see the second attempt for Lomachinska of Ukraine at 81. Is she gonna, yeah, she's coming out with this one. Now, she was lightning fast under that opening attempt of 79. Very wow. nice, yeah, textbook snatch. You know, we just talked about how efficiency is so important, and the Ukrainians just have a history of exceptional lifting. They, yeah. they teach their technique, technical model, you know, across the board. Everyone is a solid, solid technician. And to some degree, it is actually a little bit, well, it's somewhat unique. Yeah. In the set, particularly in the clean, um, the Ukrainian lifters tend to extend less than everybody else. Yeah, yeah. You know, we used to see this with Tarokti and, and Sergei Putsov. They, they coach the Ukrainian method around the world. And they, they coach, well, we saw it even with Anton Plesnoy, who, who has family in Ukraine. And uh, they don't open up a lot at the top. They make contact yeah. and they pull under very suddenly. Yeah. Final left now for Dugu. Let's see if she can stabilize such a, a wide catch once again. She also likes to wait a while before she pulls off the floor. 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, wow. You know, almost two motions there. The yeah. pull, and then when she catches it, you think it's the final position, but... Yeah then really rolls those those wrists over, gets them completely extended, yeah. and it, it kind of puts the bar into a different position, but it just was not quite yeah. uh, <laughs> not quite enough. Again, that wide grip, when we talk about that, is so, so little margin for error when it's overhead. Yeah, that forwards and backwards motion is just a nightmare to save when you're that wide. I mean, you often, you know, we used to see athletes like uh, Gorman Asian, where we still do charging forwards up the platform yeah. to try and save a bar that's moving forward because he has such a wide grip. Uh, Simon Martirosian, of course, who's now moved up to the super heavyweight category, is much the same. So this is a very big opener yeah, this for is Imperio huge. here. 82. Yeah, her best snatch is 85. She made 80 kilos at the World Championships. She only went one for three. She made 83 last year at the Mediterranean Games. Uh, yep, just a little bit shy. She is walking off, definitely looking a bit unhappy with that. You know, yeah. she knows she needs to have a big snatch to stay in the mix here against Kambe, but uh, hopefully she didn't bite off more than she can chew with that 82. Yeah. Yeah, we, it's very difficult to know what sort of shape these lighter athletes are in because by the time they turn up to competition, they're one or two days out from competing, so we don't get to see them go over, you know, 70% yeah. even. And uh, watching these athletes snatch 60 kilos, you know, you could well believe that they could snatch 80 or 100 the way they move it, so it, it doesn't yeah. give much away. Yeah. Additionally, the weight cut, you know, that's a, a yeah. potentially a big, a big factor for a lot of these athletes as they, they may train just a few kilos over, but that's, that adds up when you have to shed a few kilos before the meet. Looks like she's going to retake this lift rather than move up, which is a sensible, yeah. sensible call. She is, of course, the, the current European champion. For how much longer, I'm not sure. Well, you know, the key for her now is she's got to make a lift and she can stay in the competition. We have no idea what shape or what lifts are actually going to transpire mm -hmm. between her competitors. So, you know, she needs to get on the board here.
We have seen the Italians opening particularly heavy over the last year. Very aggressive with those opening attempts. All of them looking to make the top eight in the world in the hope for going to the Olympics. And no doubt Julia's doing something similar here. Ah. That was much yeah. better. If she can save it, but she can't. So much closer. It, it definitely looked like it was a make. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating. Here's a, an interesting position to be in. At 82, she does have a little bit extra time, but going up even just a kilo could be a, a very bad move. Yeah, there was a little bit of a wobble in that catch there, wasn't there? Just caught the weight a little bit forward on her. I think she's going to get her, her clock stolen here. Did she? Lomachinska is going to Lomachinska will go up for yeah, sure. Yeah, she'll bump. So. Did Julia bump? No, she's got 82 still. We'll see if she oh actually okay, needs to change. I see, yeah. So, yeah, there it is. There's the uh, the clock's been stolen. Yeah. It's For those of you wondering, you know, what the sort of training was that an athlete of this level does the day before, Julia actually trained twice yesterday. She came in the morning, back squatted up to 120 kilos, and then came back in the evening. She, I want to say she snatched right around 50 kilos, clean and jerked, maybe as much as 70 kilos, uh, but not a whole lot. And then she just sat and watched the rest of the Italian team. Yeah, she bumped up. So bumped up to 83. Lomachinska is coming out for 83. Imperio has moved to 83. Yeah, she looks like she's ready for a fight with this one. Did not look like she had the strength for no, that. No, no. I don't think she's going to be thinking to herself that she could have made that necessarily. That it didn't look. Uh, yeah. It didn't look like she was going to make it. So it should be credited with the 81 from her second attempt, which is uh, still a one kilo personal best. Okay, Julian Perio, the reigning champion, is in a do or die situation here. She's going to need to make this if she wants to get a total, if she wants a shot at reclaiming or uh, maintaining that European champion, ch champion status. That's the one. Yep. She's going to be frustrated. Yeah, she's with very herself there. It's an emotional lift. She's yeah. made it. She's on the board. You know, we still don't know what's going to transpire here. Yeah. We have to believe that these two Romanians opening up at 84 and 85 are uh, going to make these lists pretty easily. She has such an incredible lockout. It's unbelievable. And you can see with a shake of the head. Yeah. I think she just went through about five different emotions there. But she's on the board. That's the most important thing. 83 kilos moves her into the lead, but we have two athletes remaining, both of them from Romania. Here's the first. Monica comes out with 84 kilos. Her best is 86 kilos. We have very little sort of idea of what sort of shape she's in today. It's a yeah. bit of a wild yeah. attempt there. Yeah, big swing, big extension yeah. at the top. Hips flew up off the floor. Yeah, big swing, went forward. So the last time Monica competed was at the European Championships two years ago. Snatched 86 there as a 49. I guess there's probably a fierce rivalry between these two Romanians. 
Probably a fierce rivalry between the two Turkish lifters that we saw as well. There's only a kilo separating them. You know, a lot of these lifters are not only looking to place as high as they can, they're also looking to beat their teammates or at least move ahead in the rankings. We saw it. Yeah. The back and forth at the World Championships and then the Pan American Championships between the two US 49s. Just trying to, you know, both of them are going to be capable of being in the top eight in the world. It's just which of them is ahead of the other. Yeah. And, and that's going to be the same for some of these athletes. Any country can only send one athlete per class. Yeah. Not every country uses the same internal qualification systems. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, we don't know exactly how the team is selected, but uh, certainly there's potentially a ranking internally as well. Yeah. So, extremely important. All right, the first attempt was a bit off. There's a lot of space between yeah. the, the legs and the bar as Monica pulls. Yeah, Just you can see the hips come up really quickly, really high. The bar does not move with them. Yeah. A lot of loss of connection to the bar at the top. Yeah. Big contact. So one attempt remains. We've seen this now with two lifters in a row missing their first two attempts. One. Julia was able to come back and make her third. Will Monica be able to do the same? Yeah, will we see the same strategy? An increase, maybe, for the rest? I mean, at this point, I'm just excited to see Mahela Kambe come out. 85 kilos she's put in for her opener. She's clearly going to be in the hunt for something pretty big to just move ahead of the rest here. Yeah, I think she's going to take this 84. It looks yeah. like she's standing there at the entrance to the tunnel. If she does make it, she'll be in a great position for meddling in the total. But if she doesn't, all these other athletes are going to be pleased that their spot's going to go up at least by one. Okay, this is a pretty do or die now for Monica. Two misses at 84. Third and final attempt now. Better attempt, yeah. but uh, angry. Yeah, yeah. I have not actually seen that. Uh, I've seen objects kicked. Yeah, but I've not seen the 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 an attempt at the barbell kick. Yeah. Well, if the bar kicks back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate, but uh, it was a closer attempt, but definitely not not there. Yeah. Yeah, mate. So I was just looking back at some of the. Uh, interview questions that we had with these athletes and uh, you know we mentioned that Lomachenska looked a little bit looked like it was heavy at 83 well actually she snatched 89 in training this year so that makes a little bit more sense as to why she took that attempt here comes Mahela Kambe saw her snatch 75 kilos in the training hall two days ago she looks incredibly strong here's 85 to take the gold on her opening attempt Wow, very, very solid opener. You know, she's not only strong, but she's fast. Yeah. That is incredible.
She holds the junior European records in the snatch game jack in total. This is her first competition as a senior now. And she can really compete with the best in the world in the snatch. You know, she can uh, hold her own against uh, the top Chinese athletes. Just in the clean and jerk, traditionally she's been a little bit little bit down. Her best, I mean, it's still incredible, 104, but there are just a couple of Chinese lifters and, of course, Mirabai from India who were getting up into those high teens in the clean and jerk. Uh, and it might just be that it, it comes with age. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it says on our scoreboard, flashing green, if successful, new record in snatch, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because it wouldn't be. I mean, no. it would be a youth world record snatch, but she's not a youth lifter. So they've had a little bit of a trouble, a little bit of a problem with the scoreboard with regards to records. Um, so yeah, we're going to ignore that because that's not right. She's taking 90 here on her second. Wow, that's going to equal her personal best. That's a big jump, too. Five kilos. You know, we've seen Romanians equal records and go up and, and further them on their third attempt. So I think that's what she's going to do here. Interestingly, the, her junior snatch record is 90, but the senior European record is 89. Would she not have taken that at the same time? I'm surprised. Okay, well, this is a senior European record. Wow. That looks so good. Incredibly oh my strong. Word. That is absolutely massive. And I mean, I'm trying to work out what's going on with these records because the, the senior European records seem to be lower than her junior European record. I would have thought it would have been a two birds, one stone sort of situation when she made the 90 at Worlds as a junior. That would count as a senior European record, right? I don't see how it couldn't. But it hasn't until now. That's it's so bizarre. Odd. So that's the senior European record, 90 kilos in the snatch. She has one more attempt remaining, so she's going to set another record, or at least attempt to, and just build an enormous lead ahead of the uh, silver medalist, Julian Perio, at 83. She's already got seven kilos up on her. She's going to look for nine. Yeah, I mean, this would put her almost, yeah, nine kilograms in the lead in the snatch, yeah. in the 49s. And am I right in saying, yeah, I am, that this would equal the winning clean and jerk from last year's Europeans. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Things have changed in a year. <laughs> yeah. The Romanians are back. So a minute 30 on the clock. I mean, the guts to take a five kilo jump on a second attempt. Yeah. Well, it looked like that. It, it makes sense. You know, we can work this out because Carlos set a world record at the World Championships, and he was a junior. So let's see now. I'll check if the junior, if the senior European record has been changed, or if he doesn't own that because the European Championships has some sort of weird. Right. You know what I mean? Let's see. Eighty-five was easy. Ninety so just as easy. It counted when he did it. He set a senior record yeah, that at the world champs in it. Yeah, clearly a mistake. <laughs> Unless there's a rule change we are not aware of. But at the same competitions, it doesn't make sense. This ninety-two will be a new European record. There we go. Wow. Wonderful. And you know, she's got room for more. She's definitely got room for more. Yeah, that's incredible. So strong. She almost can't believe she's done it. She had a 
head in her hands as she walked off the platform there. Yeah. And a massive lead, nine kilos over Julia. You know, they stared each other down uh, yesterday in the training hall, but I mean, the battle has been decided. Yeah, that's a huge snatch. 92 kilograms is massive. Yeah, she's going to have to do something, you know, really quite poor if she's going to come away without this. Yeah, that 92 puts her, I mean, that's close to, we haven't seen very many 48s, 49s snatching in the mid-90s, low 90s like that. Yeah. Maybe not even outside of China. Yeah, that that is huge. The winning snatch from the World Championships this year was 93. Yeah. And she just made 92. Wow. Phenomenal snatching. Did she... Oh, no, she did snatch 90. I suddenly thought maybe we got it all wrong. No, she did snatch 90. I, I'm a little bit confused because, you know, when Carlos hit 220 kilos at the World Championships, the senior European record now says 220 kilos. But when she made 90, that didn't count as a European record. So maybe the European senior record has been lowered since she made the 90. Or they've just there's just an administrative error. Yeah. I, I would but have it has to, to be one of those two. I have to believe it's a clerical error Yeah, that they've just mistaken the number or didn't update it because the 90 clearly exceeded it. And she was at Worlds, just like Carlos. Yeah, it's very strange. Very, very strange. So after that, the uh, bronze medal snatch goes to Lomachinska with that 81 kilos. Uh, silver, Julian Perry with 83. She had a tough time of it, missed her first two attempts. Then the gold by a country mile really goes to Mihaela Kambate from Romania. 85, 90, 92. Massive lead. Two athletes, unfortunately, bombed out of that category. Monica from Romania and then Radmila from Serbia. Presumably, they'll both start in the clean and jerk and, and keep it going, but we'll have to wait and see. We caught up with uh, Anna Lidlo Machinska, asked her a little bit about her training. She said it was very difficult in all senses and then one of the biggest understatements, she said, it's been difficult, it's been a little bit difficult because of events in her country have made the, the training process tough, uh, which... Probably the understatement of the, the yeah, decade. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, she said that she's snatched 89 kilos in training, which is enormous, and then jerked 101 kilos. And then one of the most remarkable things I've ever read in my weightlifting career, she said, during my entire career, I did not have a single injury. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, which is remarkable. A, a testament to uh, good training. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the Serbian lifter who bombed out, as we mentioned before, did note down that she had a bit of an injury on the left shoulder, so it's very possible that that caused some of these these issues here. So just over seven minutes to go, and it looks like it will be Rad Miller from Serbia opening things up with 87 kilos. So I wonder if this is going to be the tactic that the rest of the Italians opt for for this championships. I, I kind of assumed that given how heavy they all went at the World Championships that maybe they're going to play things a little bit more conservative to get numbers on the board and... and walk away with some medals, but it, it's possible they're just doing the same thing. You know, as we've mentioned before, to qualify for the Olympics, you no longer have to average good performances. You just need to yeah. have one performance that ranks you in the top eight in your category in the world. And a lot of these athletes, all of the Italians, outside of lifters like Antonino Pizzolato, who was almost guaranteed to be in the top couple, or top three, I'd have thought, a lot of them are right on that border. They're between, yeah. you know, 10th and 6th in the world, maybe, and they just... They've got to put in some of their best lifts and they're just going to keep trying until they get in the top eight. Yeah, it's a it's certainly a possibility. I would not be surprised to see that happening a lot more with a lot more lifters kind of right on that border. You know, obviously, if you're under the top eight, then you have nothing to lose. You might as well. 
uh, you know, and if you're over the top eight, I mean, basically the same thing, right? You don't you you don't get deductions for not scoring, but no. uh, potentially it could take a toll on you. You know, not making totals, not making lifts could kind of add up to be something that maybe gets in your head as you progress down this qualification period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting that knock-on effect that you don't really think about of how the Olympic qualification procedure changes weightlifting. Yeah, it really does. The last quad was, you know, different to every other quad, it felt like, because yeah. these athletes were having to turn up and compete so often, and, and the, the cost of missing lifts or bombing out was so high yeah. because they had to get totals. And then suddenly, you know, athletes turned up to the World Championships this year and it was just rugged and athletes were just going for it and, yeah. and putting on personal bests on their openers and giving it a shot just to see what would happen. It's totally changed the, the sort of the landscape of competition. Yeah, almost the complete opposite, really, you know. Yeah, there's almost a sense that a lot of these athletes are not sort of competing within yeah. the session that they're currently in. They're just there competing against the possibility of what other athletes are going to do in the next 18 months. Yeah, and we're basically about a year out now from the final qualification. Yeah, the final qualifications will be April 2024. Uh, there'll be a World Cup event, I believe, in April. The Continentals will have to be earlier in the year, I think sort of February-ish time. Wow. January, February for, for all the Continental Championships, which maybe is why the World Championships this year is a little bit earlier. It's in the September, first half yeah. of September. Yeah. In Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we'll see a lot of probably very similar performances, especially the next year's Continentals will be extremely competitive, Yeah, being that everyone is basically trying to make that final push to get into the games. Yeah, I mean, that's where things are going to get very... Uh, very interesting. You know, this this new qualification system, if we think it's gutsy now with people just loading and going, it's yeah. going to be even crazier next April where athletes who know that they're not in the top eight, all they're going to do is load the lift that they need to get into the top eight and take six attempts. Yeah, And the athlete who sits at number eight or seven is going to have to load more than they've ever done yeah. to avoid... You know, what if athlete number nine moves into number eight's position? Well, number eight's going to have to lift what number yeah. seven did and, and it's going to have this knock-on effect and so they're all going to be peaking potentially three months out from competition at the olympic games yeah potentially too it drives people who may be uh interested in winning a title to move into non-olympic classes because it becomes that much oh easier yeah. so you have a bunch of a bunch of lifters that are capable of you know basically getting themselves a a a win a victory to continental or even a worlds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, being a world champion in a class that maybe was not very competitive. Well, we mentioned this morning, didn't we, when we were talking about Samuel Gasparian from Armenia. He, he's a 102, which is an Olympic category now. And for this competition, you know, in front of his home crowd, he just he's yeah. gone up to 109 because it's going to be a much easier win for him. And you know, winning in front of a home crowd, especially at a venue like this, is just extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah, and something too to note, you know, those victories last forever, right? When yeah, you win, yeah. when you win a competition, your name is in the history books for yep. forever. So, uh, you know, potentially those are enticing, and, and maybe uh, you know it, it is worth doing. And sometimes the names are removed from the history books, but the moments and the, the <laughs> athletes you remember winning—that's true. You know, those those memories live forever, and I think a lot of these athletes know that. So, two minutes now until we're back underway with these clean and jerks. The DJ not quite yet up to the standards of the uh, European Championships last year. We had a, a real variety of, of oh music yes. coming through the sound system. Almost yes. obnoxiously loud at one point. I think the DJ just wanted us all to know their, uh, their musical interests. but They wanted to get their money's worth. Yeah. You know, they, they turned the volume up and made sure everyone could hear. But even that paled in comparison to the World Championships where they placed the commentary team meaning us, about three yards from <laughs> the largest sound system, <laughs> and it was deafening, absolutely deafening. We had our audio turned up so loud in our headphones just to hear each other speaking. But fortunately, we're in a much better position this year. What we go through to bring this commentary to you. Oh, yeah. All this traveling to these great countries, it's, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> well, we've not yet been out in, in Yerevan, 
properly, have we? I mean, no. you only arrived yesterday. You're obviously a little bit jet lagged from yeah. from the travel. I think you're exactly 11 hours off from life in California so it's about as bad a place as you can travel to <laughs> only three hours different for me which has been been helpful but we will go out into Armenia and we'll, we'll have a little look around from what I've heard from different athletes and coaches who've been out to visit it's very very nice in the center so I have yeah. to go check that out yeah a bit of a, a different environment beautiful venue here yeah a lot of construction here yeah no, not here in the venue but in Yerevan building after building of these I don't know what they're going to be blocks of flats or yeah you know in uh, mid offices. mid construction yeah okay mm -hmm. so I think we're going to get back underway now there's one of our two Turkish athletes three seconds on the clock and then uh, looks like Radmila Zagorak from Serbia will be out for her first attempt at 87 kilos. Often we see a little bit of jostling back and forth on that opening attempt, but you know, seeing as she missed her snatches, she's not necessarily in that battle. She's just here now to hit as big a clean jerk as she can, rather than having to worry about overall placement. Pretty good clean. It was a bit tough to recover. Uh, not a good start. Yeah, she's, um, you know, in the 45s, you saw an athlete miss their three snatches, miss their opening clean and jerk, and then pull out. You know, I think you can get yourself, after missing all your snatches, into a position, into a mindset where you think, you know what, let's let's go out there and let's just have it. Let's do something big in the cleaner job. Yeah. But then if you miss that opening attempt... It's a bit demoralizing. It's demoral you just think, you know, what's the point? I'm, I'm not going to be able to hit a personal best now in the cleaner jerk. I'm clearly not in full strength. And, you yeah, know, it's, it's not am a I going to be able to come out and make that again? I it's not a good headspace to be in no. taking big lifts. Although we do see a change. Let's see what happens, though. Yeah. Looks like she's already bumped up to 88 kilos in the hope that that will bring out the Georgian Mariam Masaradzi. It looks like it will. Her snatches were technically exceptional. Very good clean. Mm -hmm. oh, Great job. Yeah, really solid. <laughs> Fits right in with the Georgian team, the men's team. Looks oh, yeah. so just technically similar. It really goes to show how Asanidze is just but such a... That, a is that Asanidze on the He's screen? behind him. I think that's a different okay. coach. Different coach. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, you can just tell he's such a craftsman with the athletes he's mm. got. All right, so Zagorax so coming back out here. This is her second attempt, 88. She's missed three snatches, missed her first clean and jerk. This is going to take a pretty heroic effort for her. Another tough clean. That's brilliant. It's good. She's on the board here. That idiot does not look at all 
happy you know, think, about where she's at. But you, you just have to admire that. I mean, at some point in everyone's career, you bomb out. Yeah. And then to miss the fourth attempt and somehow find it in you to just come back out and go again and make it up a kilo is very impressive. Yeah, it's a challenge. You know, and you can see it, it on her face there. She's wearing her expressions there, wearing her feelings. You know, we had a jury stop in the 45s, but nothing seemed to come from it. And there, I don't even think there were jury stops at the Pan Am Champs, were there? I don't even think they oh, had yeah. the facilities for that. And it seems unfair that they could have it in one continent and not in another. Is there a chance that they're just not doing it now in keeping with the Pan Ams? Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if there were no jury stops. No, I don't think there were. I, th I was at least told that by someone, and I didn't see any from watching. I wonder if uh, Maddie Rogers had a jury stop. Oh. Uh, clean and jerk, or was that just red lights? Yeah, actually, no, I'm not sure what happened there. And the rule has been changed now in light of that. Oh, really? Because of Matt, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's an article on Inside the Games by Brian Oliver talking about that. Yeah, because she was given the down signal and yeah. then given red lights. and you yeah, know, They shouldn't really give you the down signal until it's a good lift. Yeah, that's how the rule used to be. Yeah. You didn't get the down signal until you were motionless, until you were in control. Yeah. Okay, second attempt now for Masaradzi. At 92. Ah, very good yeah, jerk. That jerk was so maybe solid. nicer than the opener. So if I had confirmation, what happened with Matty Rogers was that they couldn't challenge because there was no jury. Right. And that seems entirely unfair. That That's pretty rough. With a call that I would imagine there's a good chance that would have been overturned. It would have been given a good lift. Yeah. They would not give her that, especially considering I, I believe it was a total that was maybe more than she hit at the World Championship. So it yeah, would have helped her out. By a huge margin. That would have been, I think, a 254 total. Wow. Yeah. And has she moved up to 81? I think, I think she, she might have was done. 81 there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, final attempt now. This is heroic. To bump up another four kilos. Rad Miller's a Gorat from Serbia is coming out. This, I mean, already she hit personal best internationally. That 88 was four kilos up on her 84 from a previous international. Yeah, for her to be going for personal record here. Yeah, it proves a little bit too much. Eight kilos up on what she's managed before. Fair enough. And so that's it for Team Serbia from this session. Looks like Team Ireland's going to be up next. So you have an attempt from win. 93 kilos. As I mentioned, I saw her... Power clean. I'm pretty sure she was power cleaning up to 90, and I think she went for 95. I think she power cleaned and jerked it in the training hall a wow. couple of days ago. Very strong. She's actually bumping up now to, uh, I don't know what she's moved up to, 95. So that's going to pull out Olivia Drazga from Poland at 94. We have four athletes, five athletes currently sitting on 95. So Olivia's going to bump up to 19. That makes six athletes at 95. Although. It looks like she's... No, no, she's not bumping up. I thought she bumped up. Here she comes. So she snatched 73.
bit forward on that clean. Yep. Oh, very nice jerk, though. Yeah, wonderful stuff. And overall, very solid lift for her. So, Maria Jimenez has withdrawn Max after a successful two attempts in the snatch. I don't know why. She made 74, but she's not going to come out for a clean and jerks, unfortunately. Yeah, possibly injured. So Lomachinska here, 94 opener. Snatched well, made two. Beautiful clean. Yeah. Oh, oh that back leg. Yeah, it just collapsed. Possibly that bar. It looked like it was moving backward a little bit too fast, too. Did her did her heel fall inwards? Yeah, it looked like she just yeah. lost that balance. Back knee. And then that back leg just kind of gave out. We'll see here on the replay. Yep. She starts with pretty high hips. And then watch this back leg. Oh, no, it, it yeah, was solid in the foot, but yeah. The back knee just dropped. Just dropped. We'll see. You know, the deeper that back leg goes, the stronger the legs have to be to hold it. That's why yeah. it's always so amazing when you see an athlete Really get down there under the jerk. It's just so difficult to hold. Yeah, very much. I think there may be something on the platform. They're sweeping up a little bit. May have been a complaint that it was slippery, possibly. So we've got some changes here now. Okay, oh, another so change. Yeah. I think so interesting. Lomachinska would have had a two minute clock. But then a change was made, but that was before the lifter was actually called, so the two minute clock stays. Uh-huh. So she'll take this 95. There's going to be three athletes now who don't end up with a total. Two who bombed out, and then the Spanish athlete who's withdrawn. Okay, here comes Lomachinska. She missed 94. The, the clean looked very strong. I mean, the jerk looked it looked great until, until the error where the back knee dropped, but yeah. it didn't look too heavy. We'll see how this attempt goes. Possibly there was just some debris on the platform. It's even better. To slip. That might oh. be why they went up and cleaned, I suppose. She might have complained about it. I mean, she told us that she'd made 101 kilos in training recently. So she's six kilos down on that. You wouldn't think that she'd have too much trouble with this lift. Yeah. Yeah, 95 is not something that uh, really should pose as much of an issue for her. That's Radzi. Six athletes still yet to open, but this is the final attempt for Mysa Radzi. She currently sits on a 165 total. She's actually in third because the athlete from the B session is still ahead of her, but this will move her ahead of that B session lifter. It's always got to be a goal if you're in the A session. Ten seconds. Oh, very tough. I mean, yeah. she was so um, 
late to get under the bar there. Yeah, yeah, you could see the top of the pole was a bit of a hesitation. She just hung around and then I don't know how she managed to speed up enough to get back under it. Just too heavy to then get up with. Yeah, it's too heavy. I mean, credit to her for trying instead of coming back down for another bounce. Yeah, without enough surplus of leg strength, just catching it like that is, is so hard to recover from. A lot of these athletes are just so efficient, they rely on that rebound and that that bounce from the bottom to get up. If they don't time it perfectly, it's, it's not going to happen. So Lomachinska here, this is her third attempt. She has to make this. She missed the last two. Both in the jerk. Clean looks casual. A bit surprising here. There we go. Yeah, again, very strong clean. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, great save. That is so impressive when an athlete does that. Stays in it. Yeah. Slightly arch back and then to bring to bring the back leg forward to meet the front whilst the front leg is bent at the knee. And so they yep. both end up bent almost like she's coming out for squat jerk. Yeah. Yeah, remarkable. Well, she's definitely got a total now. That's great. So I think we might see the opening attempt now of the first of the two Turkish athletes. Both of them have got 96 written in, along with two other athletes who are asking for 96. Now she had a very wide grip in the snatch. Let's see if she readjusts out to a wide grip in the jerk. Yeah, we've seen that kind of typical of some of the Turkish lifters take that very wide grip in the jerk. Mm -hmm. Good clean. No, kept a pretty. Got to hold on. There we go. Yeah, pretty normal grip there, basically yeah. the same as the clean. Not quite as extreme a position as her teammate was in the last session. Yeah. And plenty of the, uh, I mean, Ozbek doesn't do it, but as yeah. we mentioned before, Tanis Aguirre was very wide, and so is Yusuf Genk, who will be competing in the 73s. He won the gold medal in the clean and jerk at Worlds in the 67s. He's moved up to 73, but very, very wide grip overhead. Pretty typical of the Turkish athletes. There we go. New Yen out here. 96. This is a surprisingly low opener, I would think, considering you were saying you saw her power cleaning yeah. right around this. Right around 95. So it may be conservative, maybe yeah. not low. I mean, it wasn't one of those high power cleans, but it was a power <laughs> clean. Okay. And then the coach even said, turned to me and said, that's power clean. <laughs> I said, if you say so. No, I didn't say that, but it, w it was a power clean. If you have to ask, it's probably not. No, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was a power. <laughs> strong. Okay, strong. Little readjustment. Oh. Yep. yep. Pretty nice. Very good. Nice opener. Just happy with that. Yeah. That moves her up into the bronze medal position. Of course, we do still have four athletes out, so maybe it's too soon to be using words like bronze, silver, and gold. But for a moment, she sits in third. Bayev now, 96. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a tough clean. Yeah. Oh, she just. I think she. Yeah, I think she she, I, she sort of fainted mid jerk there. Yeah. Wow. I have not seen something like that before. She's no. We've seen plenty of athletes drop the bar in the rat position. Yeah, that was an extreme clean. She got incredibly far behind the bar, yeah, really yeah. extended, pushed her hips all the way through to get it, and actually racked the bar and recovered. But that jerk was, it almost looked like she was about to pass out and then just went for went it. Went for it. But somehow held on to it the whole time. Yeah. I've never seen anyone hold on to the bar until it hit the ground. No. No, yeah. it's, it's almost like... Um, yeah, her grip just maintained. Yeah, like a rigor mortis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really yeah, it was, was very like odd. That. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully she's okay. She did. She did push off the. the but I don't think she hit her head when she landed. No, no. Even I though I her arms were outstretched. I think she landed on her chest. Yeah. Wow. No, there she is. She's yeah, she's, she's on the couch. Yeah. She's. She Team doctor's any, trying any to help. give her something. Wow. Some <laughs> remarkable uh, a remarkable lift. So the sofa proving to be enough space for for two athletes. I imagine they're going to bump up to give her some more rest. Yeah. I can't imagine they would have her come out within a minute. Although she's sniffing some yeah. ammonia, so she might actually be trying to wake back up and come out. I think she Wow. I think she's coming out. I mean she was unconscious less than a minute ago. Yeah, she was she was out. She was totally like out. She was she was unconscious. Wow, she's getting up here. I mean, we could see from our side position uh, where you couldn't from that front camera that when the Georgian doctor came out and sort of rolled her over she woke up yeah, as yeah. that happened and now here she comes do you know what they were spraying there? Uh, a bit of deep heat over the singlet or something? yeah some kind of uh, uh, like a really cold uh, uh, like alcohol that evaporates and oh stays. right you know, keeps your skin cold. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> <laughs> this is this is remarkable. Yeah, this is impressive. If, if she comes out and makes his lift, it's got to be one of the most incredible yeah. comebacks I've seen. I mean, she's got to get the bounce on that that first bounce on the clean. Yeah, that if she paused there for a little bit too long on that last attempt that can't have helped. She's getting some applause from the crowd. 20 seconds. Such Better clean. Crazy position. Oh my lord, what a tough recovery. Yeah, I just yeah. don't think there's any, w and she's, Oh, okay, she went she's down completely again. Completely fainted, and I think I honestly think that time it's possible she would have hit her head as she fell back there. I don't think wow. they should let her come back out for a third attempt. So they're lifting her legs, just trying to get a bit of blood back. But there's some. I mean, that technique. You know, when she's when the bar comes to the knees, she, oh she pushes yeah. her knees forward. She is in a straight line going backwards from knee to shoulder. Yeah. It's a yeah. remarkable finish, and then multiple bounces, and she's yeah. um, she's not moving. Yeah, they're still trying to. It's an incredibly yeah. resilient attitude to be able to do that, but at some point, you just have to ask. I, I mean, I wonder if this has happened before. With her. With her, yeah. Right, yeah. She's done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Really, just a. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are certain athletes for whom passing out is a real issue. It happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. You know, there was that famous example. Do you remember Milko Tokola? Yeah. The like finish, many 77 times, yeah. or 85. He would pass out regularly, but almost always post-celebration. Yeah, yeah. He, he would, would lift the weight and then celebrate and then well fall off the platform. They're bringing a stretcher here. I wonder if she maybe hit her head on that. I think she hit... I think... Yeah. She, she was... 
lifeless when she dropped w when she fell. Yeah, she was not holding her head up. She just fell back. Yeah, this is uh, this is really upsetting to see. She is she's con she's conscious because she moved. Her yeah, she's, she's barely conscious. moving her arms, but they're gonna have to lift her up. Yeah, yeah, I, I have not seen off. I have not seen a lifter come off the stage in a stretcher. She's she's got she a hand to the back of her head, or yeah. she did. Yeah, um, I think it's a head injury. That makes a lot more sense than anything else. Well, Let's you never like to see that in a competition, but hopefully she she recovers quickly. And also, hopefully, the other athletes haven't had their warm ups disturbed too much. Of course, that sort of thing does. I mean, it gets in the heads of these athletes as well. Yeah. When you see an athlete get injured like that, it's a moment of realization that, you know, bad things can happen. Okay, so Monika comes out now. 97 kilos for her opener. She missed all of her snatches at 84. So this is not for a medal in the total, but perhaps she wants to meddle in the clean and jerk. We also see that Imperio has moved up to 98 for her opener. Which is enormous considering her best ever is 101. Yeah. It's exactly the same thing as in the snatch. I was yeah. going to say the same thing. It's, uh, it's hips coming up too quickly and the shoulders falling forward and, and everything follows suit. Yeah. I'm sure if you if you pause that from a perfect side angle, there's 20 centimeter gap between the bar and the thigh. Yeah. It's just so hard to make lifts when they're moving horizontally yeah. like that. I mean, we've said it before. You some lifters can get away with it in the snatch. Yeah. In the clean, you can't really do anything to get yourself back in front of the bar to stop it from moving forward when you catch it, like you can in the snatch. Second attempt for Olivia from Poland. Three kilo jump from her opener. That's very tough. Yeah, that little scoot forward on the clean makes that recovery that much harder, no bounce. Yeah. Yeah, just s totally she, straight back leg left it out. Is she wearing weightlifting shoes? It almost looks like she's wearing trainers. He, like uh, yeah, let's keep an eye on that. A flat sole. Yeah, take a look. It, I I think they're the power perfects. The okay. old, uh, I more like a gym sort of a strength gym shoe, more yeah. so almost than a weightlifting shoe. Slightly lower heel, but still a heel. So there's going to be one, two, three, four athletes who don't total out of 11 here. Wow. This is a rough session. Yeah. But we, we talked about this before, we, and we, you know, we've been talking about it a little bit here too, is how much of this is related to that, that eyes on the top eight. Yeah, yeah. Right? And how much of a strategy do you think of as a coach? Do you say, let's not play that game, yeah. let everyone else miss, and we might get ourselves in the top eight because no one moves up? Well, that's what I'm thinking with Julia here is yeah, why it? not open a little bit lighter and guarantee that you medal at the yeah. European Championships? Yeah. But I guess, I mean, because they don't care. Well, well, they, yeah. they just want to get a bigger total in the hopes of Paris. Much better pull, a lot more controlled off the floor, but the same thing happens when you jump forward you lose a lot of that ability to catch that rebound. The you can't get a bounce. Yeah. You, you can't. Yeah. You have to stabilize first and then you get up. And when you're weaker in the legs, like Monica is, yeah. you just can't, you can't do it. Yeah, and it's, it's almost a, a self-fulfilling prophecy because the hips rising fast like that is usually indicative of having slightly weaker Weak legs. Yeah, I know all about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Olivia now, third attempt. She missed 97 on her second. It was a very tough clean. Couldn't really get herself under the jerk. But she'd been waiting around for the best part of 10 minutes between that first and second attempt.
Much better clean. Yeah. Nice rebound. Oh, tough recovery, though. Get that hands on the bar where she wants. Yeah. She was. You can. She had that. You know, you can she hear had, her feet. You know, yeah. you can hear her feet sliding like a, a, almost like someone running on a basketball court, right? Yeah. It's kind of squeak against the platform. It's not the same. You know, it's not like what we're hearing with most athletes when that front foot really contacts the floor, and you can hear that audible clapping sound. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very soft landing with the feet. Yeah. It's just not quite right. Sneaking under. And, and she's actually one of the only examples of a little hop forward and still the first bounce. But yeah. it's because she's not catching it on her, on her toes. She's not, yeah. you know, she's not on the balls of her feet. Yep. And she's really devastated with that miss. So she'll end up 73 in the snatch, 94 in the clean and jerk. Two athletes still to open. It's Julia and Mihaela. Final attempt now for Monika. And... Uh, I mean, you have to salute the fact that she's still coming out after five missed lifts, fighting until the very end to make a lift. Yeah, improved the clean in the last one, but just wasn't enough. She has to use the legs. Oh. That's better again. Much better, but... Just not the strength to yeah. get up with it. Yeah. Well, she, lets, she lets everyone know that she's yeah. not happy with that. Yeah. There goes the belt. It was the the bars and the plates and the first in the snatches. Yeah. It was a much better clean. Stayed back. Was able to catch the first bounce. But you know, if she can't get up with that one, yeah. then it was too heavy. I yeah. mean, why why open so heavy? I think that's a, a great observation. It's a uh, it's you know again another question, right? What, what is the strategy here? And speaking of that, 98 here for yeah. Pero opening very heavy for her. This will be, yeah, this will be one of those lifts that may cement her in a, a great position or, yeah, you know. I mean, this is either a great call. Yeah. You know, yeah. or it's not. And until, the, until we see what happens, we well, We've seen we it before know. with the Italians. They've taken these giant attempts and openers. No knee sleeves, just a little bit of tape under the, under the knees. No Huge pull. Either. Yeah. Oh, great job. Nice lift. You know, as she dips and drives, she's moving yeah. backwards yeah, in the jump quite that. a lot. Well, so now the question is, where does she go from here? She's yeah. got 98. She's got probably no chance of catching, c covering that nine kilo gap that Kambe has, considering Kambe also has a stronger clean and jerk. Yeah. So is she now just going to take a really big attempt to move herself up in that top eight? I, I think that's got to be her intent. I don't know if she's even capable. I mean, let's take a look at some of these results from last year. The sixth place total of the World Championships was 193 kilos. Yeah, I mean, she's only got 180 right now. Yeah. And that was Nina Sturks. Yeah, I suppose 9102 here would be the most logical for her for a PR. Adam, yeah, you, you need to be. I mean, she's probably got uh -huh. silver shored. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she got silver shored up here. Yeah. Second attempt now for Alici. No, this will put her in second. 177. Yeah, but Impera is at 181. Oh, oh, correct. My bad. But no nerfs anyway. So wow. Julia does sit in the lead right now with Lomachinska behind her. But really the only person who's going to move ahead of Julia will realistically be Mihaela Kambe. We do have Tam who has two attempts left. And it's depending on what she's able to get up to. It could be that she looks to try and get a bronze in the total. Certainly a medal in the cleaner jack. Yeah, she'll probably take 99 here for that medal, I'm guessing, to pass Impero. Yeah. Oh, no, she's coming out at 98. 
But that still moves her into, you know, the yeah. silver in the cleaner jug for now. A, a bit odd of a move. I would have thought 99 for sure. I guess we'll see. Yeah, they've got a plan, I'm sure. She and Julia are similar here. They've got strong pulls and strong stands, but it's not perfectly balanced in the catch, so it slows down a little bit. Oh, Actually, that, I yeah. mean, that was just wonderful. Good clean. Oh, I think, think she's she going to get it? called for a press out it, on though. her right elbow. I don't think she's going to get that one. One red, wow. Keep your eye on the jury. They're, they're looking around. I think they're... I don't know if you saw the front. I was. I kept an eye on the front angle rather than from the side. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. we got to stop. We've got to stop from Jury, unfortunately. Just gutting for yeah. Team Ireland. Yeah. Let's see from this angle. A medal of the European Championships for the Irish team would be absolutely incredible. Yeah. Incredible. And they're going to... Oh, they need to stop her. Uh, Alici needs to come back down. You know, a jury stop is generally not good. We usually see them overturn mm -hmm. in against the athlete. You can we see can them watching it now. They're definitely not looking at the right part of the left. Let's see. Now keep it on the left hand side of the screen, her right elbow. I'm pretty sure is pressed out. Yeah, it looked a bit soft. Yeah. Uh, you can see a little unlock there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's probably it's a go. shame, but it, I mean, it is a no lift, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't, but I don't think she's going to be able to hold on to that. Okay, you think that they could pass the news back and forth a little bit quicker than they currently do? We literally see it being passed verbally from one person who has to walk all the way to the back room. It just well, like you said earlier, everyone needs a job. Uh, in some of these situations, I'm not sure they do. <laughs> if you want it being done, give it to someone. I think that's what I said. I don't think everyone needs a job is what I've been advocating. It translates differently to <laughs> in Armenian. Yeah, they took yeah, it down. They took, took it away. It. So, well, I kind of wanted to go 99 now. I was going <laughs> to say, she's probably going to take 99, which, you know, maybe that's the silver lining here. Yeah, maybe she'll end up with a medal. Okay, third attempt. She missed this on her second. She made 96 on her opener. This will... This is big for her because this will move her from third to second, which will become third after Mahela. So this is basically for a medal in the total. Oh, not enough. If she'd have double bounced it instead of trying on that first one. Yeah. She might have got it. But you know, in the moment when you're standing up, if you feel like you've got enough yeah. speed. Yeah. You're not going to go back down. You're just going to go for it. Yeah, it's very. It's a very tough thing. You've got to really know exactly what your plan's going to be and react. Well, 98. No, it is going to be 98. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming out for 98. I don't think this is the wisest move if she wants a shot at a medal in the clean and jerk. No, this this guarantees a medal in the clean and jerk. It just doesn't guarantee silver, but it does guarantee a medal. Because right, Julia's yep, got true. the lead, yeah. and then Mahela will take it. So this is for an yeah. Irish medal. Yep. When was the last time we had one of those? I mean, I can't even think about. It, it must have been. At a senior level. A long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Could have been Frank Rothwell. Yeah. This is big. This is very big. Five seconds. 
That's a better clean. Yeah, strong clean. Gets readjusted. Oh, that was so much Joy. stronger. That is incredible. What a lift. Fantastic. And look comeback. at the coaches. They are so thrilled. Uh, <laughs> she's I mean, happy. That solidifies her as one of the best Irish lifters Weight lifters ever. ever yeah. She can't believe it. I think she just said to them, did I get a medal? I don't think she was necessarily aware. And they said yes, and she just wow. collapsed. That's amazing. <laughs> I feel a little bit emotional watching yeah, that. Yeah, that was really cool. Wow. Okay. 98 kilos, an Irish medal. So the 15s are on the bar. That means that we're at 100 kilos. Mahela Kambe is coming out. She just set new world, sorry, new European records in the snatch. Two of them, as it turns out. And now she's opening at 100 kilos. You know, even this is... It's kind of heavy when you think that the most she's ever done is 104 kilos, but I don't think she's ever been in shape quite like this before either. So let's see how well she moves this. This surely guarantees the gold. Very strong clean. Oh, and an easy jerk. Yeah. She made 95 in the training hall a couple of days ago. Yeah. Look like, you know, nothing. I think that 104 personal going record down, of hers, it? yeah, is going to be long gone. Yeah. It's interesting, you know, she, she's got a stronger snatch than everyone in the Pan American region. Yeah, yeah. But no, she's not as strong in the cleaner jerk. No, she's, she's a, a bit behind a for sure. A little bit behind. Well, we're seeing a few of the Americans over 110. I mean yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's getting up there, the yeah. world record being 118. Okay, here's Julian Perio. Just a two kilo jump here. Yeah, I think she's she's really probably going for 102 on a third for yeah, a personal best, yeah. maybe. That's my guess, a m bit more conservative approach. I mean, she knows she needs to build that total up to get in the top eight. I mean, or, well, you know, yeah. to get closer to it. It's Strong good clean. pull, yeah. She made 101 at Worlds. A, a little wobble in yeah. the lower body, but not in the upper body. That's a good lift. Yeah. She, she's definitely poised to go for a personal best at 102 if she wants it. But, you know, she might move up the rankings, actually, because she placed 12th at Worlds with 181. She's at 183, so she's up two kilos. Yeah. It's not going to bump her to the top eight, but, I mean, that might move her to 11th or 10th or yeah. something like that. She's going to get closer. And this, this final lift, I would have thought, would put a top 10 in the world. And there is a situation where she could go to the Olympics not in the top 10, because if Mihaela's in the top eight she could then get the spot of the next highest in Europe. Yeah, continental. Yeah. Yeah. A little sort of extra bonus for, for athletes who are in tough continents. So yeah, she's going to have to yeah. follow herself, though. That's going to be tough. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. But I don't think it'll be a huge issue for her. You don't think... Well, the, you know, she's got an efficient, she's very efficient, she's technical. Obviously, the leg strength is an issue. We'll see how that, that re recovery is when she racks the bar, yeah. but she doesn't look to be struggling with anything. Well, she's not it's sitting down, which is a tough. good sign. Yeah. Yeah. They're not easy lifts, but we'll see. And maybe they do bump. They may bump here at the last minute. No? Yeah. So she's going to ride this clock down, minute to go. I don't imagine she'll come out till close to that 30-second mark. Maybe she'll... Yep. No, maybe she's going to come out. Again, another good sign that she's ready. Although it's quite a long walk, actually. Yeah, not a lot of time here. So 
a new personal record for her. 101 is the most she's done internationally. Sorry, guys. Okay. We're on time. okay, so this is a personal best for her by a kilo. She's got a super strong pull. Yeah, that's nice good. Nice, clean, very nice. Ah. ah. Yeah, she moved backward quite a bit more on the dip there. You could see that. Yeah. So that's going to be the end of Julia's campaign here to maintain her European lead uh, but you know what she's ended up with a much bigger total than she had at the last European Championships 171 she made that was the winning total last year and you know, she's up 12 kilos here so yeah it might not feel like she's done as well but she's she's improving again but this is probably the real well this is the real champion you know this is an athlete who you know is a potential Olympic medalist You'd have to imagine. So strong. Yeah, very easy clean. Oh, this is light. Yeah, this is light work. I guess the question is, what is she going to go to? Because she only took the 103 to guarantee the medal, the gold, right? Yeah, I, I, my guess would be 105. I think she's going to try to improve on her total. You said 197 is not a, not a bad total at no, 49. It's big, yeah. That's got to be probably enough, and it gives her, you know, a lot of... But I'm thinking, what, I mean... <sighs> yeah, it's tough to know. She's going to go for 108 and try and get a 200 total? Yeah, that would you be know. potentially really, li really I, large. I bet she's done significantly more than these numbers in training. Yeah. 106. Oh, she's got six on there now. For now. That that might make the most sense. The 106, another three kilo jump. It'd be, be a little surprising to see her take a pretty big attempt here. Like a really wild one, like 108. I don't know, I think. But it could happen. I, I mean, think she might. Let's wait and see. 106 is on the bar. And she is staying warm with the towel. Clock is going to start. Of, yeah, she looks to be getting maybe ready. The towel came off. Gave a little bit of nod there. Yep. And we see the coach grabbing the ammonia. It's usually a sign things are about to happen. Yeah. Well, she's all the way back on her warm-up platform. Which is right by the right. walkout, oh, I yeah. think. Yeah, she Unless she's on the other side because the entrance and the exit are identical. But they're on either side of the platform, so... Yeah, yeah she's asking for the ammonia. Yeah. She, she probably is going to come out for this. Fair enough. And like you say, it, it does build on her on her best list. She'll be setting two kilo personal bests yeah. in the snatch and the clean and jerk if she makes this. Well, going into the next competition as well, right? She's got momentum. Mm -hmm. She's made... You know, if she makes this, she'd be six for six. European champ, sitting in a great spot. Yeah, absolutely. 198 total. Okay, here she comes. Got the uh, remaining colors on her tape. Strong. Yep. Oh. Wow. Very solid lift. She had more in the tank for sure. <laughs> European champion here. And you might have been right about her not going too crazy with that third attempt. You know, the, the jerk looked very easy, but clean you know, the clean was, it was approaching maybe, yeah. you know, getting there for her. And the emotion. Wow. Absolutely 
just such a strong performance from Mahela Kambe. I, yeah. I don't see her not being the European champion for a long time now. I think it's going to take a while before anyone gets close to that. I mean, yeah. she is so far ahead. Uh, even in the snatches, there's no one... There's no one in Europe or, or Pan America who can, who can really touch her or, or within Africa or Oceania. It's just a couple of couple of Asian lifters and then in the cleaner joke you know maybe she's still a little bit of a way off but she's young she's yeah. still really young and if she keeps adding a couple of kilos each competition yeah, we well might get to the point where she can push some of these Chinese lifters yeah she's snatching in the 95 range and that right. clean, that clean and jerk comes up to 110 I mean that's the world record 96 yeah, yeah that's a dangerous dangerous she athlete. could be a world record holder one day yeah. right yeah I she's mean, an incredible snatch another 5 kilos it almost looks like there's just uh, the ceiling is, you know, isn't yeah. there. I mean, those are so strong. So strong. I mean, you know, with a lot of lifters, if you said, oh, add another 6% to your snatch and do a, a try yeah. it, it would look rubbish. Yeah. But uh, she could give that a go now. Yeah, I think you so. You know, she's probably not going to make it, but I bet she moves it fast enough. Yeah. 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 She's so strong in the pull. So the bronze medal is going to go to Angelina Lomachinska from Ukraine, 81.95. She only made three lifts, but that's all she needed to beat uh, Alici by a kilo in the total. The silver to Julia Imperio of Italy. She moves from the European champ to the European silver medalist, 83.100. 183 total. And then way out in front by 15 kilos, Mihaela Kambe, 92.106. The only athlete to go 6-6. Six six. And the first gold medal potentially of... Uh, I imagine of several for uh, Romania. Absolutely incredible. And then we have to mention as well, I mean, that, that clean and jerk uh, at 98 kilos by uh, Tan Nguyen yeah. was absolutely amazing. Yeah, remarkable. Gets her a medal in the clean and jerk. Third. First medal for Ireland at the Europeans we've seen in my lifetime. I and think. Lifting. I hope I'm right. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually I would, believe yeah. that at a junior level, there's a chance that Clarence Kennedy, when he was competing, medaled. Yeah. Yeah, but a at junior, a senior level, a senior I, I, I don't think I've seen that, maybe ever. Um, obviously, Frank Roswell was extremely yeah. good in his day. Uh, but yeah, what a, what a finish, what a performance uh, by Mihaela there in the women's 49s. Uh, absolutely fantastic. We're going to be back tomorrow. We have three A sessions. Presumably, it's the men's 55s. 61s and the women's 55s as well I believe so three A sessions back to back to back they'll be at the same time as these two plus one prior to that so make sure you tune in thank you all for uh, for watching we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all tomorrow for day two of the European Weightlifting Championships